breaking news, my lovely, wonderful people. Northern elders call for the arrest of, <laughs> of INEC chairman Yakub Mahmoud, saying he did not fulfill his promise. Nothing has been done. Tinobu must prove to Nigerians that is fighting corruption. It should start with sacking of Mahmoud. Uh, guys, I don't think your answer will be, your request will be granted. This is personal. You, I mean, no disrespect. You want, so after you have used him, then you will dump him. Who does that? You should sack him. Why should he sack him? Well, that is what they are calling for. That is the new uh, call that, you know, he should uh, sack him. But however, it is not looking like it at all. It's not looking like he's going to be sacked anytime soon. Okay, but however, this is the call, okay, that it should be sacked. Well, my lovely, wonderful people, you can see that um, Northern Elders are really, you know, are really big on saying uh, Yakub Mahmoud did not fulfill his promise. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Let's get all the details. I need made promises that he did not fulfill. Tinubu, who says he wants to fight corruption, should start by sacking INEC chairman. Northern elders declare. Baba Hamed, spokesperson, says. The spokesman of the Northern Elders Forum, Hakim Baba Hamed, on Tuesday said the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, failed to meet up with his, with his promises and some expectations of Nigerians. Naba Ahmed said this when he was interviewed on Arise TV while discussing issues on the presidential election petition tribunal judgment, saying, Tinubu must start, first of all, by sacking INEC chairman, carry out a thorough investigation if really he wants to fight corruption. I think that if INEC chairman is guilty of anything in this particular election, he's guilty of overpromising. The Electoral Act gives INEC the power to decide the conduct of the election. INEC came close to saying, INEC came to us and saying it was going to conduct an electronic kind of election where results will be transmitted, where it will be completely electronic. And that was wrong. They came close to, to saying they were going to conduct electronic transmission of votes, votes of Nigerians, but that did not happen. These were not just words. It meant that what a voter decided in a remote village in Yobe would be direct, will be, will go directly to one place in Abuja. And it seemed like it did not happen that way. They did others. They continued on the old way. Baba Hamed said that this was not the, the agreement, the electronic, the Electronic transmission of results was paramount. Nigerians were expecting this because INEC promised it that it was going to serve Nigerians with the best election result, and everybody believed them and followed through. However, they disappointed Nigerians. I will want to call on the president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Mohamed Bola Ahmed Tinubu, to do the right thing. Start, first of all, by sacking the INEC chairman, carry a thorough investigation to prove to Nigerians that you are seriously and big on integrity and you want the truth to be decided. You want Nigerians to trust you. Start with INEC. That is the most important place to begin your work. Don't say you don't say any other thing. INEC did not follow through with how the ambience of the law has given them opportunity to do. INEC chairman Yakub Mahmoud should go for it. He should first of all be sacked. Then we continue from there. So that's uh, Baba Hamed. Uh, if you know him very well, Peter will be running mate uh, brother. Okay. He said INEC did not follow through. They did not follow through with their promises. And so Tinubu must prove to Nigerians that indeed he wants to, he wants to do the right thing. By doing the right thing, is first of all sacking the INEC chairman or, you know, uh, probably, uh, you know, uh, suspending him and carry out a transparent, thorough investigation and let Nigerians see that you are willing to bring out the truth, that there is no ill, you know, you have no hand in it, nobody, you are not favoring anybody, nobody, you are just being transparent. If they say they conducted the election, you won, no problem. You don't owe anybody. 
their job was to conduct it, count the results and declare the winner. So you are not owing them any form of favor because they did not do you any form of favor. So if that's the case, then let's go back to the drawing board. Come and tell Nigerians, state it loud and clear, okay? Show it to everyone that you are not taking side with any single person and tell us exactly what is going on. Come and, you know, show to Nigerians that you are on the side of truth. Let INEC chairman, first of all, be, be suspended for not following through so that next time lessons are learned. If nothing is learned from this, INEC chairman will do it again. In the next election, he can tell, he can go to Chitam's house in the eyes of the international world and tell everybody, that he would do this and nigeria there's so much hope and expectations on nigerians on you know that you know there'll be transparency re-election will be conducted nigerians will be happy then you come back and you tell us something totally off and different and you know it becomes a, it becomes your your problem nobody cares no that's not how things are done i think baba Ahmed has just raising a very serious concern you know that needs to be looked upon and needs to be thoroughly investigated if Tinubu wants to really prove to everybody that he's not taking sides with anybody, let him start by revealing to Nigerians where and how things have been. Tell Nigerians where exactly, you know, you are standing with all of this. Let's see it. Let's know it. Don't, don't stay on one side. No, let's see it. Be honest, be sincere. Come and tell us. Come and tell us exactly where you are standing. Let's, let's see it. Okay, don't don't be neither here nor there. No, it doesn't work that way. You know, don't be there. Don't do that. Come and tell us exactly what is happening. Be honest, be sincere. Rise up and tell us the truth. So these are some of the things that have been asked and have been looked upon. And we all need to begin to rise up because the numbers are counting. Everybody knows, you know, the world is even watching us and just looking at us and saying, ah, fantastically corrupt. You know, when they said that word to uh, Buhari back in London, then, oh, Nigerians rose up in no small way. We say, ah, how dare you say that? Fantastically what? No way. You can't say that to oh, blah, 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 blah. And we were, oh, you know, saying, no, it cannot happen. Blah. But at the end of the day, we are day wrong. You know this, but they see figures. It's just that it's not in their place to come out and tell you things that are going on. Don't you know that there is a place where transparency or financial transaction is open to all? Don't you know? Leave us a comment. Like us, share, subscribe. Click on the notification button so you can get all our latest news. God bless. Have a lovely and a fantastic day from us. It's bye for now.